prayer point number seven in our prayer during this Daniel fast says, Father, teach our hands to war and give us undeniable outstanding victories this first half of the year. It is not talking about fighting people or demons. It is talking about fighting for your prayer time. Lord, teach me how to fight and to pray instead of wanting to go out and do two, three errands. Lord, teach me how to stay home and study instead of wanting to go and visit my neighbor. Teach me, Lord, how to fight and go and read my Bible instead of going to YouTube. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. In this case, it ties with other scriptures. The Bible says the weapon of our warfare, they are not physical things. Can I bring you some of those things today? Number one, your prayer life, your word life, your giving life. Choosing to love instead of hate is a warfare. Thank you. You heard that. <laughs> Opportunities will come for you to be mad at your ex-boyfriend, uh, your ex-wife, uh, your ex-husband, your baby daddy or daddy baby or ba daddy mama. <laughs> all of that, trust me, when you begin to fast, all of that debris will be coming up so you can throw them at the altar of the Lord. It is not so that you meditate on them. It is not so that you go out there and be mean to people. It is very important, very important to fight the correct fight. The correct fight is not being mean to other people. The correct fight is to fight to pray, fight to study, fight to be kind, mm. fight to love. Pastor Bojo told us that nobody can put, no witch can touch you. If you live in love, no disease. Papa Kenneth, Copley, uh, Papa Kenneth Hagen says, every time I have a symptom, the first thing I check ah, is my love walk. It's not the weather. I check if I'm still kind, if I'm still patient. When you begin to hate, you're opening the door for the enemy to come in and do anything he wants. Teach me to war. If you live like I just described, you and Satan don't have much to handle because that's living a life of love and love never fails. Nothing about you will fail. Nothing about you will come to a place where you'll be needing deliverance. Why? Because that's the weapon of our warfare. They are not carnal. They are not physical things. But guess what? They are mighty to the pulling down of strongholds. It doesn't matter the ancestral curse that people walked in in your family. If you choose to be radical in your giving, give anyhow until people try to manipulate and use you, ah, the mercy of God will kick in and that poverty and that generational ancestral poverty will be crushed. Will be crushed. The weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but they are mighty. As we exit this morning, I want you to focus on what Ms. Chunga has taught us. What is daddy saying to me this season? We saw yesterday that the approach is not about looking at everyone else but you. Focus on you. You see, your hand is full with your own life. Come on, no one does see a look at it. Mm. See, your hand is already full with you. You are a bundle of everything else. <laughs> Handle you first, then maybe that it will permit you to help somebody else. This is the beginning of the year. What do you know about the year that you're trying to tell everybody and hey, do this, don't do that, live like this? Have you sorted you first? It sounds like it's selfish. No, there's a difference between self care and selfishness. I pray that every one of us would put the responsibility on us. Do what is needful for you now. Don't give that responsibility to anybody. Do it and do it well. And then you can be able to be positioned where you can help others. That warring 
and having outstanding victories. It is not warring with people. It's not killing your brother, your sister-in-law, your mother-in-law, your auntie-in-law. It's not killing your husband or your wife. Uh-uh. Because Pentecostals can pray weird prayers. When we begin to talk about teach my hands to war so that I can have outstanding victories, it's talking about war on your prayer time. War to make sure you stay where you're supposed to be for these 10, 9 days. It's a war. I hope you know that. I know you heard. My assignment is done. Father, teach our hands to war and give us undeniable, outstanding victories. It means you will war for your prayer time. Mama Ima, you will not go to the gym until you have studied your chapters. You will not go to the gym until you've prayed. Your physical body, Mama Ima, is not the big deal. It's your spirit. Many of us, we behave like we, we own our breath. We behave like our children own our breath. We behave like it's our breath is in the hands of our spouses. Please, I'm begging you. When you leave here, don't fight anybody. You saw it in Isaiah 58. Quarreling is one of the things the enemy wants you to do during the fast. Ah, I know the other extreme. I heard a man of God say one and I laughed. He said he preached about something like this and somebody went home and they looked for trouble. He said, eh, hey, eh, hey, hey. I did not want to quarrel. Now you've brought quarrel. Now you've messed everything. No. As soon as you find yourself in a quarrel situation, an invitation for quarrel, even if you already said one or two words, zip your mouth and run. Where are my ladies? If you see a snake, will you stand? Okay. Quarreling, disagreement during this period is the same thing. It's like a serpent. The devil is around. Don't involve yourself with unnecessary busyness. Um, things that can wait should wait. I'm telling you, nine days will fly by. Oh, believe what I just said. It will fly by. But let it not fly by without you investing in it. So the warfare is not on somebody out there. It's not even on the devil. It's on us. And what is that warfare? Fight to read. Fight to study. You can be, for example, at work. And you are in a fast. You've gone for two hours. You didn't listen to a verse. Come to this prayer platform. There is a verse there that will bless you. There's a nugget that will bless you. Come to this platform and look at it. Thank you for sharing all this um, pray, um, fasting focus, Mr. Collette. We need to remind ourselves. These things are not their investment. These are inheritance that they give us. We want to put our eyes on them again. I'm telling you, it's very important. Things to avoid when you're fasting. It's very important. Very important. They will show up. You don't have to invite them. They will show up. They always show up. But you now fight not to do it. Amen and amen. I've belabored that point. Let's pray. Father, I thank you that this fast will produce the needed, the required result for every one of us. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.